In this video, we will look at elevated cue shots and whether or not some of them are fouls. Here's an example from a game of 8-ball where we need to elevate the cue to clear the obstacle 3-ball. We need to follow forward after pocketing the 1 to get a shot at the 2 to continue the runout. Here's the shot. Do you think that was a legal hit? Here it is again. Let's look at several examples of what happens with different cue elevations. I've filmed each shot with both a digital camcorder and an iPhone recording up close in slow motion. Here's a similar cue elevation as with the previous shot. Again, is this shot a foul? Here it is in slow motion. Looking at the cue ball after the shot, it is obvious that the tip hit the cue ball multiple times. Notice the trail of chalk marks on the ball. Here, it looks like the tip hit the cue ball about eight times, skipping across the ball as it was driven into the table. Here's another example with the cue more level, with less cue elevation. Look at the trail of chalk marks here. At this cue elevation, the tip strikes and slides along the cue ball over a fairly large distance, almost over half of the cue ball's first rotation. Here's another example at a higher cue elevation. Again, even here, the tip hits the cue ball multiple times. With a strict interpretation of the rules, where multiple hits or prolonged tip contact is not allowed, these shots might be considered as fouls. However, would this be an appropriate ruling in these situations? Here's the same shot again. Would you consider this a legal hit, even if the track of multiple chalk marks is clear on the cue ball after the shot? It is probably not appropriate to declare the shot illegal because there is no clear evidence of a multiple hit during the shot. Also, there is no real advantage gained by the unintentional multiple hits. Again, because there is no direct evidence of a foul during the shot, the shot should be considered legal. Now, if the cue is too level and a miscue results, where there is clearly secondary contact with clear evidence, then the shot would definitely be a foul. Here's an example. It was obvious that the shaft contacted the cue ball multiple times after the initial hit. Therefore, that shot was clearly a foul. Looking at the cue ball, it seems that the tip also hit the cue ball more than once before it slips, causing the shaft to slide and bounce on the cue ball. Again, this shot is an obvious foul. With enough cue elevation, it is possible to execute the shot with a single clean hit. However, it is best to limit cue elevation because more elevation hurts shot accuracy. Here's an example of a clean elevated hit. Looking at the cue ball, it is obvious that the tip hit the ball only once. So this shot is obviously legal even under an overly strict and narrow interpretation of the rules. Does this shot look or sound any different from the original multiple hit shot? Here it is again. And here's the original shot. There is really no way to detect the difference in hit other than by looking at the chalk marks on the cue ball after the shot. Regardless, none of the shots in this video should be considered illegal, except for the miscue with obvious multiple hits.